Dear Minister, dear President, dear future Vice President, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, it is my pleasure to be here in Göttingen. I uh, already mentioned that for a Frenchman like me, Göttingen is known by a famous song, but it is also the location of the finest tradition in research and education. And we are inspired by the famous scientists who have been within this house. Now, it is a very timely event. Horizon 25, 2020 is shaping up and open access is at the center of our policy on research. And as we speak about open access, we speak about access to publications, we speak about access to data, we speak about preservation of data, we speak about infrastructure, and all that has to be there with the tools of this century, not the tools of the previous centuries. So we are working in the internet age what we are dreaming of is a Facebook for scientists, sharing, exchanging, self-regulation, that we are more efficient in science than we have been so far. Now, put it simply, open access means that scientific information resulting from public supported research programs like Horizon 2020 should be freely accessible for scientists, businesses, and to society. And there are many reasons for that, and Commissioner Gagan Quinn has mentioned already these reasons, including access to industry, to SMEs, to innovate. Now, open access is more a matter of culture. It's spreading a culture of sharing. And to do that, we need to have the right incentives for researchers. Otherwise, this culture will not develop. In this audience, I am preaching to a large extent to convert it, or at least this is what I expect. You have created open air, and only in a few years, it has become a reference for researchers, not only in Europe, but worldwide. And this is a major achievement. Today, the question is not anymore why and if open access. It is about how and what. And we should be very concrete. Horizon 2020 will have concrete elements. As already highlighted by Commissioner Gagan Quinn, the recent package on open access published by the Commission contains very concrete measures. The first one is open access to publications as a general principle for all EU funded projects in Horizon 2020. We are not anymore in a pilot phase, it is a default principle. Second, it is to encourage open access to research data in Horizon 2020. Of course, taking into account the possible restrictions linked to intellectual property rights and linked to legitimate commercial interests. And the third element is support of infrastructures necessary for open access and support on research for digital preservations. These are very concrete steps. Now, clearly, open access is the default option. At the same time, it is clear that the Commission will do nothing that would prevent exploitation of results. We need growth, we need jobs, we need exploitation of results coming through innovation. And this is the reason why open access to data will take the form of a pilot. 
we need to define the parameters for this pilot, the scope, the disciplines, and we expect the contribution of all stakeholders to make it sensible and practical. Now, developing a culture of open access is more a matter of incentives rather than law enforcement. We can force people in a contract to say your result should be open access. If you cannot enforce it, there is no point. What is important is really to have the right incentives for researchers to do so. This is already partly the case for publications. You have various systems of citations which are already in place, and this is important for researchers. They need to be recognized as the owners of their results. But this is not yet the case for data. Very little regard, reward when you put your data available. And all that has to be put in place. So coming back to data, the European landscape is very fragmented, as unfortunately very often. This is a good reason for Europe to intervene in this. It's fragmented not only nationally, it's fragmented by disciplines, it's fragmented by domains, by institutions, and at the same time, we are facing the big challenge of what is referred to data tsunami, meaning that preservation of data, making data searchable, are very important issues on which we need to work. And in all that, Europe needs to show leadership in organizing its scientific space or scientific territory or scientific area. We need to be at the forefront. If you are not leading, you will follow what the others would impose upon you. And we are very grateful in that context to open air. We count on your support. We count on you also to gather all the stakeholders to help us in decision making, in convincing lords and masters. All that is an important role of open air and of you scientists. I mean, you're in a better position to defend the case that science needs to be open. If we want to make it a reality, we need all of us, all of you, to work towards the same goal. Thank you. <laughs>